What should parents do when their kids test positive for COVID-19? Well, we're speaking to the doctor behind this free guide. Over in Europe, Australia orders the lockdown for people who are not fully vaccinated against the coronavirus. And this giant artwork is off limits to the public as contempt of court proceedings get underway. It's 5.30pm here in Singapore. You're watching The Big Story. I'm Harian Tudiman. You can subscribe to The Straits Times channel so you never miss a single episode. First, the news headlines. With HDB resale prices surging this year, more homeowners are upgrading to condos. In just the first nine months of 2021, more than 7,000 buyers sold their HDB flats and bought new and resale private homes. That is a jump of over 21% compared with the same period last year. One reason, resale flat prices are climbing faster than those for private housing. Cascaden Peak looks set to win the battle for Singapore Press Holdings after raising its offer for the property group to 240 a share. This latest bid trumps the final offer made by Keppel Corp last week. SPH's independent director's preliminary recommendation is for shareholders to vote against the Keppel scheme in favour of the Cascaden scheme. And in this widely shared photo on social media of an incident in front of Parliament House Sunday morning, about a dozen people rushing to help lift a blue Honda after it got into an accident with a black BMW at the junction of North Bridge Road and Parliament Place. Five people were taken to hospital and investigations are ongoing. Caring for a family member at home, especially a young one who has COVID-19, can be challenging and daunting. As parents, how do you explain the home recovery program to your young children? Well, a free ebook is now available to help the little ones understand what the process will be like. I Can Recover at Home is a comic-style book written for young children to provide a reassuring peek into the journey of recovering from COVID-19 at home. The story follows the little boy's journey of recovery, including 10 days of isolation in his bedroom, accompanied by his dad. Written by children's author Emily Limley and illustrated by Joseph Lee, the 37-page e-book is the brainchild of consultant pediatrician Dr. Daryl Lim. Dr. Lim, who is from Kinder Clinic at Mount Alvernia Medical Centre, joins me now to share more about the comic ebook. Welcome to the show, Doctor. Doctor, with you know yourself, your colleagues here, seeing up to 200 kids with COVID-19 on a daily basis, your ebook will come in handy, giving parents a step-by-step -step guide on what to do when their children fall ill. What are some of the challenges that parents have shared with you in caring for their sick children? I think when we first began uh, the home recovery program with my pediatric team talking to patients, we realized that one of the big things was parents just didn't know what was coming next. They were quite clueless, in fact, at the beginning. Uh, and the big question mark is whenever they're not sure what's going to happen next, then you feel a bit anxious and worried. So we would guide them through uh, what's going to happen. And it was a little bit unnerving for parents to be stuck inside a room with their only lifeline, one phone or a computer. And so when we reached out to them, we would medically assess them to make sure they're okay. But, but it was the big unknown that they got very worried, which was why we needed to find a way to communicate to everybody, uh, parents and the kids alike. And I felt the book was going to be able to achieve that. And some parents were very worried about how they would spread it to other family members, while some parents had other concerns on uh, how are they going to call for help. Some really didn't know how to do that. So I wanted to address all these issues in the book so that they would give a very easy way for parents to reach help and know that how we are going to be reaching out to them. And at the same time, address little issues like uh, sometimes they ask what happens if my heart rate is high or what if I have this symptom? So we had a little frequently asked questions at the back segment as well.
plus a flow chart from the top to the bottom to give them an overview so that they can see at one glance what the entire program is going to be like and where we fit in and when we are going to call. I personally have uh, read the book and I must say it is really handy and you know it's easy to read. But Doctor, how has the response been so far to the book? Wow. <laughs> If we talk about the response, we've had about 7,500 downloads from Emily's website and more than 550 shares on Facebook, uh, thanks to Health Minister Sharagit as well, and also from Joseph Lee's very loyal following. Um, we can't count the number of uh, copies that were forwarded on WhatsApp, but it's been going around many, many uh, many, many accounts yesterday and I also received it back to myself. So it really went out there yesterday. And I think the message was good because it reaches everyone and gives them some reassurance on what HRP is. And it gives them some information on how to reach for help, in fact. Reception has been great, like you mentioned. Doctor, what other plans do you have for the ebook, if any at all? Well, we want to reach out to even more of the population. So we're going to try and translate it into the major languages like Chinese, Malay, uh, trying also for Tamil. And possibly the next step would be to address other issues in the pandemic using the boy and girl strip. But uh, that's really getting far ahead of ourselves. We still have a job to do and that's to reach the other languages. Definitely wishing you all the best, Doctor. Thank you so much for your sharing. I've been speaking with consultant pediatrician Dr. Daryl Lim, the man behind a comic ebook to help children cope with the COVID 19 home recovery process. Now, you can find the link to download the ebook for free in the description below if you're watching us on YouTube. Meanwhile, looking at Singapore's COVID-19 situation, the Health Ministry confirmed 1,723 new infections last night. 1,651 cases in the community, 66 from the migrant worker dormitories and 6 imported. And all 10 deaths reported yesterday had various underlying medical conditions. As at last night, the overall utilisation rate of the ICU is 63.3%. 121 ICU beds are occupied by COVID-19 patients with 69 critically ill and intubated and 52 unstable and under close monitoring. Another 132 ICU beds are occupied by those with non-COVID-19 conditions and 147 beds are empty. Looking overseas, India reopening its borders to mass foreign tourism after 20 months of closure. Fully vaccinated travellers from 99 countries, including Singapore, can now enter without quarantining. They are only required to monitor their health for 14 days after arrival. Austria is placing millions of people not fully vaccinated against COVID-19 in lockdown starting today. This as the country faces a surge in cases. Unvaccinated people will only be allowed to leave home for work, school, exercise and buying essential supplies. About 65% of its population is fully vaccinated, one of the lowest rates in Western Europe. Meanwhile, Germany too is taking precautions, preparing a return to working from home. The rule lifted in July is being reintroduced as the country faces a growing fourth wave of the virus. It has also begun offering free COVID-19 tests again since Saturday. Infections and deaths have been climbing steeply since mid-October. And before I go, in case you missed it, the Cause Holiday Singapore Showcase at the Marina Bay floating platform is temporarily closed. This follows a court order to stop the exhibition served by non-profit organisation, the Ryan Foundation, to the organiser All Rights Reserved, citing breach of intellectual property rights and breach of confidence. And yesterday, the Ryan Foundation started contempt of court proceedings against various parties involved in the showcase on the grounds that they breached the earlier court order by organising a private preview for invited social media influencers. Cause Holiday Singapore was slated to run from November 13th to 21st. 
And those are our top stories for today. For more news and videos, visit straightstimes.com and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the red button below. I'm Harian Tudiman. Join us tomorrow for more stories on The Big Story.